Welcome to another tutorial on Unreal Engine. In this video, we'll explore the power of the curve editor in the sequencer by adding movement to an object in our interior scene. Specifically, we'll import a fan and create a smooth controlled animation of its rolling blades using keyframes and the curve editor. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use the curve editor to create complex animations and control the movement of objects in your projects. Let's get started. So in order to add sort of a rotation movement to blades of this fan, I am going to create a new sequencer to my project. So let's click on this, add a new level sequencer. And here I have it. Let's just dock it to this side of the screen. And let's just decrease the size of it to have better view on our viewport. And after that, I'm going to add the blades to the sequencer, just like that. And here I have them. And next, it is time to, let's increase the number of frames to have a longer sequence. And after that, I am going to add the camera, one of the cameras that I've used in this scene. For example, cine camera number two would be perfect, which we are already in that view. So here we have it. And after that, let's just go back to the blades that we added to our sequencer. And I want to add some rotation movements, some rotation keyframes, let's say, in the first frame, frame number zero. And I'm going to move the time slider to the last frame and Let's just decrease the pitch of this blade. And yes, that would be okay. And let's just play it and see the result. And as you can see, we have a gradual movement in the starting phase and the ending phase of this sequence, if you pay attention. And this motion behavior is all about the curve editor. So let's just go to the curve editor to better understand. So I am going to select the blades and here is the curve editor button. And as you can see, by clicking on it, we have a new window here. And this is the curve editor window that I was talking about. So let's just select the keyframes that we've created for the blades. And I'm going to move it a bit down to better work on them. And as you may notice, we have kind of tangent curves in the beginning and also in the ending of this sequence. And that causes to have a bit slider movements in those phases. So I'm going to select both keyframes. And here you have some other interpolations instead of that curve. So I just selected the linear. So as you can see, we have a constant movement from first frame until the last frame. So if you want to have a constant motion, it's better to select the linear interpolation. And after that, we have a user interpolation here, which makes us able to change the shape of this curve in our desired way using the handles you can see here. And let's just try it in this way and see the results. You can see that it starts to rotate in one way. And after that, and after that, it continues to rotate on the other side. So we can do whatever we want using these handles in the user interpolation. And there you go. You've just learned how to use the curve editor in Unreal Engine Sequencer to create smooth and precise movements for your objects. With this knowledge, you can take your animations to the next level and add a whole new dimensions to your projects. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. See you in the next videos.